Hey guys, so just got back from Dollar General, of course. I was there for like an hour. Uh, good company, good good conversation. Uh, apparently one of the kids quit. Um, now I'm gonna say a word, uh, just quoting what I was told. Uh, if you're offended by this word, we were calling each other this word all the time in the 90s. I don't know why anyone's still offended by it, but apparently he was called a faggot. Um, so he quit his, you know, he didn't give any notice. He just clocked out and left. Now, obviously, I know that, you know, harassment is terrible, and it is, and it shouldn't happen to anyone. But quitting your job like that, you're just screwing yourself over. You know, uh, not only did he not give the proper, you know, notice, he left everything vulnerable when he left. The, one of the other guys, he was all the way in the back. He didn't tell him he was leaving. So, I mean, the place could have been robbed for all they know, and the guy in back wouldn't have known. Um, so, you know, it's, it's going to make him make it a lot harder for him to find a job, uh, especially if they call them. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's... I, I don't understand why you would quit your job after some fucking nobody calls your name. Like, you're never, there's a chance you're never going to see that fucking person again. Why are you getting so uppity about them calling you a name? I get, I get called names all the goddamn time. You don't see me fucking quitting jobs. It's part of life, unfortunately. I mean, it, it, this isn't fucking Twitter where you can just fucking block people and just stay in a safe fucking bubble your whole goddamn life. This isn't, you know, you can't do that. It's the real world. This is why this fucking generation is so fucked up right now. They're so sensitive. You call them a name or, or something like that, and they start having a fucking breakdown because they can't handle it. I mean... I mean, he, if, after quitting, he might as well just fucking live with his parents, not go out, not go online, don't do anything, because obviously they're not able to handle a handle reality. I mean, it's sad to say, but these fucking kids are so goddamn soft now. They're so fucking sensitive because they're being, you know, one, you know, they're being, oh, yeah, it's good to be feminine, it's good to be this, toxic masculinity, then it's like, oh, yeah, you, they, they, Everyone is fucking confusing these kids. They don't know what to do anymore. They don't know what to think. Uh, it's just fucking them over. These kids are being set up for failure. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, he was like 18 or so, 18. Yeah, he's like 18. Uh, so he, if this is what he's gonna be like, if he's gonna quit a job because someone, some fucking nobody calls him a name, he's gonna have a hard fucking life. But um, me and the, the guy we're talking who was still there, and the, uh, the other kid came in, and uh, they were trying to pick up whatever was left off. And uh, I weep for this generation. <laughs> like I said, we were calling each other that name all the fucking time back in the day. Like, my brother, who we, pretty, we called my brother gay all the fucking time. I mean, we kind of knew he was. I mean, and our, it came true because he is, in fact, gay. I was at his gay wedding. He is, in fact, gay. So, I mean, and we were still making fun of him, but it's not, like, with us, it wasn't, like, ill intent. I mean, that's what brothers do. You fuck with each other. But if somebody, some fucking nobody call, comes and calls you a name, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Grow some balls, please. Also, I had to get a real monster this time. That fucking low carb bullshit. I don't know if it was just not cold enough, but that's. Sh I was struggling to drink that shit, so. But, um. Yeah. But you see, you know, it's, it's, it's not. Life is not like Twitter, where you can, oh, I'm just going to private my account. I'm just going to block all comments. I'm just, you can't do that. You can't get offended and, 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 you know, emotional every time someone calls you a name. 
I'm guessing it affected him as much because I'm guessing he was gay and they still consider it a slur and all that, but there are just some words that just really shouldn't be considered slurs anymore. You know, like queer. Like I said, queer doesn't mean gay. Queer means odd. When someone says, oh, that's a tad queer, they're saying, well, that's odd. Remember in Flintstones, having a gay old time, gay meant happy. I mean, this was back with the Flintstones. They weren't ha they weren't saying, let's have a homosexual time. You know, they were saying, we'll have, you know, you'll have a gay old time. You'll have a good time, a happy time. So the fact that people are taking words that don't even mean what they say they do now and then getting offended I mean, maybe it's just me because there's like nothing that offends me. I call myself fat all the time. I call myself ugly all the time. I insult my intelligence all the fucking time. I mean, maybe is it just me? Because there's like, you know, you have people come on trying to offend you. Oh, you're virgin, you're this, and it doesn't bother me because these people are fucking nobodies. So is it is it me or do you guys feel the same way? It's like, do you guys feel that he kind of overreacted? because he, he quit his job over a fucking nobody calling him a name. You know, it, it or is, you know, I just, I don't understand. You know? I mean, these fucking kids now need to fucking grow a backbone. Because if this is what they do, they're never going to survive the real world. Ever. The real world is not going to cater to them forever. Right now, it, it's perfect for them because, you know, you have people censoring. You know, like just the video I did, what was it, yesterday, the day before, about fucking uh, the dislike button on YouTube? Because people can't handle criticism? What kind of world are we living in? You know... So this is perfect time for them. They're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, they're on YouTube. All these big texts uh, either do it themselves or you can just cut, you know, block people or uh, private your profile and this and that. Not have to, you just stay in your little echo chamber. Um, but then when you go outside, it, that, that's not what it is. You don't have an echo chamber outside. You're going to meet people who are bad. You're going to meet people who are going to call you names. But they're nobodies. They're nobodies. You know, people say words have power, but they only have power if you allow them to have power. Being called a faggot should only bother you if you let it bother you. You know, same thing with the N-word. That should only bother you if you allow it to bother you. A word should not have that much meaning. Especially now, this isn't 400 years ago. No one is enslaved, no one's being made to serve, so that word should have little relevance completely. Just, it, it doesn't mean, it, I mean, the word means unintelligent and uneducated. So unless they consider themselves uneducated and unintelligent, that word today, in current day, should have no fucking power over anyone. The only ones who let it control them, are the ones who want to be the victims. So words have power only when the person allows it to have power over them. So, like I said, is it just me? Or do you see the same thing? Like, people get called and they're like, Oh, God, someone called me a mean name. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, it's just because I'm getting old. I'm getting old and I just care less about the world or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing it's just I'm getting old. Because I see the way kids are now. How fucking sensitive and you know thin skinned they are. It's like the the meme with the they show the kids like fucking 1945. You know see World War II, and you have these young kids, 18 years old, going to fucking war, not knowing if they're going to fucking come home. And then you see the kids today who get called some names or get told that there's only two genders, and they suddenly have a fucking mental breakdown. Kids are too, they're too fucking soft now. Thanks, Obama. 
you think you would think you'd never hear that again but um like i said is it me or do you guys feel the same way i know my subscribers probably feel the same way that you shouldn't let a word have that much fucking power over you but then you have some idiot who comes along john you just don't understand you're nothing but a hateful bigot who lives in his mom's basement and then you've never gotten laid. Anyway, yeah, like I said, what do you guys think? Is, is quitting a job over some fucking nobody calling you a name a little over the top? No. I've been called names on the job before. So, I know it happens. And it's a terrible thing that happens, of course. But like I said, they're nobodies. You're never gonna see them. And if you did, it'd be very, very, very rare. If this was the first time it's happened to him, this particular person probably doesn't come in at all, or he was just a person who was just passing by, oh look, Dollar General, let me go in there. Because the regulars are not gonna do that shit. So. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I just, I just thought that was interesting. Just the fact that kids, people now are allowing words to just basically, or labels, allowing labels to control their entire lives. You know, it's every, everything's a label now. You know, they, they don't see people. It's, oh, black, non-binary, pronouns. They don't see people anymore. They see words, words that are fucking meaningless. But let me know what you guys think. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.